So when you come out to Erie and are trolling out here in the spring, cooler water temperatures, upper 40s, maybe low 50s, you're gonna wanna slow your troll down. I like to go about 1.3 miles an hour. One of the tricky things out here uh, on Lake Erie is that most of the time when I'm trolling these open water situations, I just troll with the waves. Uh, it's nice and easy to maintain your speed. On Erie, a lot of times there's, there's things happening that make you go crosswind a little, maybe a little into the wind. Things like maybe you're going around an island, maybe you're next to a border, <laughs> the Canadian border, for example, and you don't want to cross that. Maybe there's a mud line and you want to stay in a little bit cleaner water of the mud line. A lot of different situations where you might not be able to go right with the wind and you want to turn sideways. What I really like using for this is a dual approach to uh, running my boat. First of all, I put my kicker on and I run it fairly slow. It's probably only trolling at 0.8 miles an hour. But then I put down my move trolling motor and I let it actually pull a little harder to get me the speed that I want and control which direction I'm going. So the nice thing about the move is it does have navigation, the little button right up here, where you can just point the head where you want to go and it will keep going that direction until you turn it. The other nice thing is, is that it has what's called remote displays. So I can put these little displays, I happen to have one in here, anywhere in my boat so I can see what the trolling motor is doing. So my display in the back there, I can see that it's going 1.4 miles an hour. I can see that the navigation is on. I can see that the prop is running. Everything is good. If I bump up a little, I can tell exactly how far I bump up to, say, maybe 1.7 or, or whatever. So having that dual control, the kicker and the move, having the, the navigation on here and having the displays where I can see exactly what the trolling motor is doing, lets me turn this boat, maintain the exact speed I want to pull these crankbaits at, and hopefully trigger some big one